Hi, and welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals course. And in this module, we're going to be looking at the Dynamic Tooltip by MAQ Software. Now, this is really kind of a nice add on or feature to other charts that you have. It is found underneath the Visualization Gallery or Library, and you can import it in the same way you would any other visual. But it's really a great way to add additional insight to existing visuals. You likely wouldn't put this on your report design service by itself unless you just wanted to give some general information about the report as a whole but it does make for a nice little add-on to existing charts that you have. Now you can display either measure values like you see in the screenshot on the right hand side, or you can actually just have plain old text if you wanted to describe something using the dynamic tooltip. The tooltip image itself, so you see the question mark, can be changed. So if you have an image of something else that you want to replace it with, really anything that's on the web, it has, does have to be a URL, then you can replace it with another image URL so that the display of the tooltip, the dynamic tooltip, is displayed with a different image. So you have some options there that you can choose from. You can choose to do a different type of image if you'd like. Now again, this one is published and developed by MAQ Software. Let's go ahead and take a look at how you can use the dynamic tooltip and example together. All right, so we're going to start over in the Power BI desktop, and our first step is going to be to pull in some data. So I'm going to go to the Get Data section here, and we're going to pull in some data from Excel. And the Excel workbook that I'm using for this example is one here called Monthly Opportunity. So I'll go ahead and select that one. And we're going to pull in some data. It's quite a bit of data. Well, I shouldn't say quite a bit of data. It's really not that much, but you can see kind of what the data looks like. It has monthly results for different product categories, and it has a couple measures here that we can look at. So I'm going to go ahead and load this into our Power BI data model, bring that in, and then I'm going to create a really a clustered column and line chart here to be able to display this. So I'm going to select the line and cluster column chart, make this take up a good amount of the screen here. And then inside of this visual, we're going to bring in the month, okay? We're also going to bring in the total revenue. So I'll select total revenue and the total number of opportunities. So I want to see the total number of opportunities in addition to the total number of revenue, total revenue. And I'm showing this on both the columns and the rows. Now you'll notice right now it's rolled this up to the year level and we only have one year. So what I really want to do is I want to bring this down to the month level. And so in the uh, shared axes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it that I don't want to show this as a hierarchy necessarily, or uh, well, at least not the full hierarchy. I want to just look at this as the month at the month level, and then if I wanted to, I can drill down to the day level. Okay, so I just did that by hitting the X next to the attributes that I did not want to include, and then it gives us a pretty decent looking chart here where we can see a comparison of the total revenue versus the total number of opportunities that it took to create that revenue. All right, so this is a pretty nice looking chart, but what I'd like to do is I want some way of displaying and showing more information to my users. I wanted to be able to see, for example, maybe a quick total number of all opportunities and I could do like a card for that or something like that to be able to show a, just a single value or I could use this special dynamic tooltip to do something like that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the custom visual store and this will launch a new dialog box here for us to search for the different custom visuals and we're going to search for a tooltip and you can see the dynamic tooltip by MAQ software should appear pretty quickly and we'll go ahead and hit add to add that into our visualization pane here. All right, now to add in the dynamic tooltip, it's pretty simple. Let's just make sure we don't have this selected first and go ahead and click the dynamic tooltip to add in the new visual. And then again, the measure that we want to analyze here is the total number of opportunities. So I'm going to select total opportunities and then it's going to create a nice question mark here that gives us a little identifier that we can use to display a tooltip. Now what you can do with this is you can maybe make this a little smaller if you wanted to and then place this over the chart so it looks like there's a little add-in here where you can actually hover above that to see what you want to display. And that's why it's a dynamic tooltip. Right now it's just displaying text. I'll show you how you can actually make it display a value here in a moment. All right, but for now, let's go ahead and bring this back over here so you can see it a little larger. And uh, let's walk you through some of the things that you can do and some of the things you can turn on with this nice little plug-in or add-in to your charts. If you went to over to the Format Paintbrush in the middle of the pane on the right-hand side, You'll find there's a tooltip section here, and underneath the tooltip section, you can change things like the header and the body. So when you hover above it, you're looking at the header and the body. And you can also change the image URL. So you can change what URL is displayed here. Right now, it's displaying that question mark. You can certainly change it to other things. I'll show you how to do that here in a few moments. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and change the header. Let's call this header Total Opportunities. And then for the body, you can give it any text you want. So I can call this Opportunities First Total revenue for the year. And then that way, anytime I hover above this, you'll now see that text appear. And again, you can make this smaller, place it on top of your chart, and then that way it'll display and give your users a way to 
display that. Now, the thing with the thing about that is it's nice you can do that. You can make this small, make it look like it's informational, that somebody can click on it. But that's not really something that you can't already do with just the title. You know, I could go into the settings of the cluster column and line chart, and I can go underneath the format section here, and I can adjust the title to display that text if I wanted to. So really, there's, there's something more that you can do with this dynamic tooltip. With the dynamic tooltip, what maybe we want to do a few other things here. Maybe we want to instead actually make it where it displays a measure. Remember, we put a measure in here of the total opportunities. Right now, it's not actually displaying that measure. So we're not really utilizing the tooltip to its full capacity here. And so what we could optionally do is go back to the format paintbrush. And then you'll see there's an option here called measure tooltip. And if you turn that on, what that does is it actually now displays the measure value instead of the text that we had in the body. So it says total opportunities, and then it tells you the actual total opportunities number, which is nice because when you look at the chart that we're looking at, it's showing opportunities as a line, but it's showing them for each month and not necessarily for the entire year. So this actually now gives me a nice little aggregate that I can put tiny in the top right hand corner, and then someone could hover above that to see the total opportunities. And it doesn't take up nearly as much real estate as a card would, for example. See, the alternative to this would be I can bring in a card and I can select total opportunities. And then this takes up a little bit more real estate than this nice little plugin that I can make small in the right hand corner. All right, so that's one way you can do it. Now, the other thing I mentioned earlier, let me go back over to the format section of the dynamic tooltip. The other thing I mentioned earlier, by the way, you, underneath the measure tooltip, you can change the formatting here. You want to decimal places. In this case, I have whole numbers. You want to display in hundreds, thousands, uh, millions, uh, and hundreds is not an option, but you can do thousands, millions, billions, and trillions. But the one other option that I mentioned earlier that I haven't shown you yet is the ability to change this image. So I, I have a couple examples. You can certainly go find your own examples on the web. So if I paste in a different image URL here, like so, then you'll see the image change to a different type of icon, like you see here. So I've made it kind of more of an informational icon, or at least a different style of one. You could, of course, resize this. If you want, you can make it a different URL. I'm going to go ahead and resize this and make it really tiny here so I can put it in the top corner of my visual right here. And so that way it stands out a little bit. People can tell, hopefully, that this is something that you can hover above, or maybe they think you might click on it. But if they hover above it, it's going to show them the total opportunities value that we displayed our earlier. So it's, again, it's a nice little add-on that you can do. You can add to different charts that you have. In this case, add to a standard chart. You could also add it to any custom visuals. Really, it's just kind of displaying it on top of existing visuals that you already have. So really quick one today. I hope you guys enjoyed this little custom visual and look forward to showing you our next custom visual in our next module. Thanks a lot.